everyone and welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I'm Hope and here's my coffee, although I'm sadly running a little low. I've kind of been drinking it and editing a couple episodes here over the past probably 30 minutes to an hour, but I kind of had an idea in my brain. Today is June 1st and I wanted to talk about upcoming books for the podcast Books Are Magical, which is a podcast I have with my friends Annalisha and Hannah. And we try to do themed months when we can and of course june is going to be our pride month where we try to incorporate some books that include some of that inclusivity and have some of those relationships within their content and one of the first ones we wanted to talk about is legends and lattes by travis baldry and it's such a cute book and a podcast episode will be releasing soon but here is the book if you have not seen it this is the one you're going to be looking for when you go to your bookstores. It is such a cozy, fun read. The relationships in it are fun and cute and just absolutely heartwarming. So please, if you like coffee as much as I do, and that's why I kind of wanted to highlight it, it's about a person who was a mercenary who has decided to retire and she decides to open a coffee shop. And I may not be a mercenary, but one of my dreams is to hopefully have a coffee shop, perhaps a bed and breakfast with a coffee shop, and to be able to provide that hug and a mug the way that I see it. But um, yes, let's, um, let's hope that we can reach those goals in the future. But second, we are going to read Light from Uncommon Stars by, and I believe I, or I hope I'm saying her name right, Rika Aoki. And it was just a fun, at times dramatic book to read. Lots of things going on, but absolutely fascinating. Like I got, like I had read it first of my group and I read it last year. I found it, I thought the cover was beautiful and I was gonna look for it on one of my bookshelves and I just didn't find the time to like go find it. But I have the hardcover somewhere around in here. But it's got so much going on. I felt like it was so, there were some very powerful moments. There are some very significant moments where the person and the main characters uh, are kind of coming into their own, coming into themselves and kind of accepting themselves for who they are. And I just really love that because they find a group of people who are very accepting of who they are and then they find their niche in the world. And that is so, so powerful for us to be able to find our niche in the world. And honestly, there is some really great content in that book and I highly recommend it if you are interested. Um, it's not as light of a read in my personal opinion as Legends and Lattes, but I still think it's a very good read. It's a little bit more, uh, like I said, dramatic and it's a little bit more serious at a couple times. Um, then we move on to some books that we received as advanced reader copies through our book podcast. And the very first one that we're going to talk about is Lady Tan's Circle of Women, which will release on June 6th. And it was one that I got to review. I really love medicine and I really enjoy like people learning and then also me learning as I read a book. And so of the podcast individuals, Annalisha is probably like a little bit of a romantic and Hannah, she is just kind of all over the place. She just loves everything. I really love like thrillers, murder mysteries, but I love anything that's got forensics, medicine. Uh, I lead and love a good ghost story. Um, I love high fantasy, but I'm not the biggest when it comes to like romance and drama. Um, I have reasons for that and we can talk about that in other episodes and in other um, avenues, but we fit together as a podcast uh, team because we all have different perspectives when it comes to reading these books. And Lady Tan's Circle of Women was one of the ARCs, the advanced reader copies, that I was able to kind of give a book review to my counterparts about. And I think I sold Hannah on reading it. And so please look forward to that episode coming out on June 6th uh, on most podcasting platforms. One of the other books that I am also reviewing for the month of June is 
Zero Days by Ruth Ware. And right now, I think I'm about 40% of the way into it. It is a thriller. It is action-packed. Uh, you have a husband and wife duo who are kind of almost like spies, a little bit like spies, but some things happen in the pretty much in the beginning, and now we have to un uncover the mystery. We have to solve the mystery of what has happened. So I don't want to give you too much, but that's kind of where we're going because we start we start like eight or ten days out, and we're moving forward towards day zero. So that's. I guess where zero days comes from because we have zero days left and now we're like at the end point. We are in the final days. So that's where the, I think where the title comes from so far. Haven't finished it yet, but I will finish it before the end of this week. Next is another book called A Most Agreeable Murder. And this is a book by Julia Seals. And if, I hope I'm saying that right, or it might be Seales, uh, S-E-A-L-E-S. And I am very excited to read this, but I try to read one book at a time when it comes to these advanced reader copies. So I have not yet been able to pick that up to see what the blurb is about. I like to be surprised. I am one of those people who, when I go into a movie, I probably haven't seen hardly any trailers because I love not knowing what I'm about to get. And it's weird because I hate being surprised when it comes to gifts, but when it comes to movies and books, like, I don't want to know anything about it. I won't read reviews. I barely watch trailers. I want a fresh perspective right on the offset. If I have got already received too much information or if I'm hearing too many different things about it ahead of time, I'm usually not all that interested. I'm not sure why. I just feel like when it comes to those sorts of things, I want that fresh perspective. So. I'm really excited about getting to A Most Agreeable Murder by Julia Seals, and I think it's going to be really fun, and I can't wait to pick it up, but I've got to finish Ruth Ware's Zero Days first. And finally, even though this book is going to come out right at the beginning of July, I believe it actually releases July 4th, um, I'm mentioning it because TJ Klune has such a fantastic LGBTQ and pride representation in almost all of the works that I've seen him produce. And Wolf Song is no different. I feel like I've seen this book before, but I had never picked it up. But now that he's kind of come into his own and starting to find his audience, from what I'm to understand, it went from a smaller book to a much larger fleshed out book. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. But I am... Actually, I'm working through that one as well. Like I just said that I don't usually do multiple books at a time. It was very hard for me to not pick up TJ Klune's book, like almost immediately. When we got in the Lives of Puppets and we've gotten several others, like I love his works. I love the way he writes his stories. They're, they're I don't want to say they're heartwarming because sometimes it's really hard hitting topics, but they are so full of heart and they are so full of emotion and they are and it's not to say that they're dramatic but they are powerful in their own right like you feel what the characters are feeling he writes it in such a way that you can really relate to these characters even if you're not in their situation even if you're more of an ally um and that's okay because I truly feel like, you know, like I hope that I'm understanding a little bit better after reading these books. But those are the books coming up for June and sneak peek into a little bit of July. But I wanted to kind of give that little blurb. We also have one other book that we're going to talk about. Uh, I believe we are recording it in June, but I forget if we are releasing the episode in July or if we're releasing it in late June. But it is an interview with an, an inheritance lawyer and we are reading the inheritance games by jennifer lynn barnes and that book was really fun i had a great time with it i realized when i was looking at it that it is a series of there's more books in the series so even though i won't have time to be able to read all the other books in the series before our interview with the inheritance lawyer I am very excited to pick up the rest of them and continue the journey with those characters because I had not heard of the series before we decided to read it and do this interview, but I am so glad that we did because 
it is definitely right up my alley. I love those problem solving books. There's like action, little bits of romance, a little bit of like crushes and things like that. Nothing too hard hitting, but it's really those puzzles and those problem solving and all that sort of fun stuff. So please be on the lookout for all of those episodes. And I look forward to talking to you soon. And please tune in again, and I'll see you on the next page. Have a great one.